A recent study uh, just came out saying that astronauts could drink red wine and eat chocolate to stay healthy. Here's why. Uh, For the first time, a study has found that chemicals in wine and chocolate can help people cope with the physical stress of space travel. They have compounds called flavanols, um, whose health benefits have been widely extolled by nutritionists to help keep the immune system working properly in space. So, you know when um, you watch uh, any space movie or you watch the return of astronauts come home and they're like in wheelchairs and they're frail? Mm -hmm. I forget what movie it is. Um... Uh, what movie it is, but uh, Matthew McConaughey or The Martian Man, he gets off the plane. Oh, The Martian. He, yeah, Martian. The great, Martian. Great book, great movie. And he's Matt like, his, his skin, his body, like he's weak. So uh, space obviously has incredible effects on the body and they're not very good. Um, they can alter your immune system, your skin, the length of your chromosomes, gene activation, gut microbiome, your reproductive system, hormones, blood, liver functionality, kidney efficiency. So you could get really sick being in space. Um, uh, muscle atrophy, frail bones, weakened eyesight, kidney stones have already been recorded. So scientists and AI experts use machines to find chemicals and they found the flavanol um, in uh, red wine and chocolate, um, but you can also find it. Um, there, we, there's a bunch of different fruits and stuff. Onions, kales, grapes, capers, berries. Um, these things also have zinc and magnesium, citrus fruits. Um, so these uh, don't, nobody show Patrick the red onions, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can't bring red onions to space if we go on a, on a valuetainment rocket ship. <laughs> but everything else we can. Um they're supposed. Uh, these things are supposed to reverse seventy percent of the genetic changes responsible for the immune problems that in space. That is crazy. Isn't that insane? That is insane. So, wow. Basically, uh, <laughs> I am the perfect person to go to space <laughs> because I love chocolate. <laughs> Health and, uh, in a glass. Women are the perfect person to go to space. We love red wine. We love chocolate. Um, and get this. Ready? <laughs> Women may withstand space travel better than men. Wow. So because of our, our, our female bodies and how we uh, are able to do pregnancy. Cervix. And the, <laughs> yeah. We have a cervix. Um, <laughs> this, this, uh, this study suggests that it's uh, possible that women can survive space travel better. Now, there's only been uh, 14 men that have actually been on the moon, but there have been some women in space, but not on the moon. So um, they need to send more of us up there in order to... Uh, uh, do more research to see whether or not it's actually like how true it is, but it makes sense in a lot of ways. Um, our bodies, because of our reproductive system, because of the amount of physical stress we can handle, the study shows that we're able to bounce back faster when we come back. Um, after oh, it's crazy. I, uh, well, like um, when you talk about the physical bounce back, my buddy just had his second child. Congratulations, Tyler and Tori. And his wife got a C-section. Oh, she wow. was up a day and a half later. That's and I'm crazy. like, they literally cut, like, if you've never, my son, we had to have a C-section for my five-year-old because he was traveling down the birth canal somewhere around the cervix and uterus, I would imagine. <laughs> and he took a left and he went mm-hmm. to my wife's hip. So they had to cut her open. And it's, whew, you're seeing organ. Like, I was not, they were like, don't look over that sheet. And I was oh, like, Jesus okay. Christ. And then I had to look over the sheet. <laughs> oh. And I just see, like, intestines. And I'm like, oh! And they were like, don't, oh. don't make that noise. And so, it's a, it, like, it was terrifying for me to watch that. Jesus and a Christ. day after that happened, she's up and moving. Into, and I'm like, hell, you're not even supposed to be walking. They yeah. tell you to have bed rest for three weeks. But women are, so, and my wife did the same thing. She was, like, she was down for, like, two or three days and back up. But I had shoulder surgery in 2005. 15 and i'm still recovering today (laughs) like it's crazy how much more adaptable the female body can be we're not as physically strong as men i can't lift a truck or whatever you guys do at the gym you know with those 50 100 pound weights whatever but the physical stress emotional stress whatever we can handle so much more and that's why they think that women in space can bounce back faster recover faster it might also be because we're drinking more red wine and chocolate because that's a common female trait oh and green tea green tea is so good for you as well so i'm perfect loves green send me to space yeah see your wife too well so brandon what do you think about that because before you were yeah, um, hesitant. so uh, I guess I got the argument from a physical recovery standpoint. I guess that would make sense if you're, um, you know, we're biologically can repair, um, recover faster from a pregnancy type of thing. But 
emotional stress. You you think emo- women are better under emotional stress? <laughs> yes. Why? Of course. Why do they get so emotional? So Men quickly? don't express their emotions in general and keep it inside and don't handle it. Women do, and they handle keep it. it and their bodies, our bodies, they're me. I'm a woman. Our bodies affect our emotions way more than men than men's do. So, um. We have, especially because of this freaking reproductive system that I have. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. They're way more capable of handling emotional stress. And again, Is we're not example? supposed to be the same. <laughs> Obviously, what Brandon you, feels differently. What do you say? Are there like, examples? Because examples? <laughs> like example? you, you gave an example of the physical one. I could see that one. But Every you- month. I have something happen to me mm-hmm. and I get my period and I get all these hormones and I'm emotional I and I have to deal with it. You don't have that happen every month where you have to come to work and you have to deal with people and you have a mood and you ha- you're physically hurting and everything's coming out of you. Mm-hmm. So cool. that's <laughs> it's a physical and emotional stress and we have to deal with it. Um, uh, everybody, and again, everybody experiences stresses differently we all have different emotional stresses based on our lives and we can't generalize everything like some people don't have a perfect family unit to support them some people don't have a perfect work environment to support them so everybody handles emotional stress differently so i don't want to generalize however in general because of i don't want to generalize but in general um uh, women experience more stress in life generally because of physical things as well so i think that's why their study in science is proving Can that I, it's true i mean some things some things i don't want to be that guy but some things are incredible on paper incredible you know concepts and whatever prototypes all the cars we don't get but they look amazing but i'm just trying to paint the mental picture of this you know imagine eight women with a large supply of wine and chocolate <laughs> going to space oh and they're you know happy what happens? Because well, you know what happens? If that many women hang out, my wife told me about this. Because she's one of four, right? It's her and four sisters and their mom. So my father-in-law, Bob Cook, is a saint. I mean, that guy had <laughs> nothing but women in his house. And when that many women are together for that long, their menstrual cycles yep. sync up. There's a medical term for you it. guys don't. Have to, I, 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 I like, can't can no imagine like, what it feels like. Like Houston, we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine if they're up there that long and all of a sudden they're drinking wine, they're eating chocolates, and then they're all menstruating at the same time. Jeez. Everybody right. up there angry at one time. I but, know. See, but the weird part is like it's so weird when it comes to the menstrual cycle. Cause I from my own experiences, I have two I have two women that I've had long term relationships with that I and I still am involved with because one of them is my son's mother, my 14 year old, and the other is my wife. And I've noticed I can tell when they are menstruating, but they both do it in different ways. Mm-hmm. One, my wife is much more rational. My mm-hmm. wife is, it's very odd. She'll have some stomach issues. She won't feel well, but she doesn't like, you know, act crazy. And then my 15 year old's mom is nuts when she gets <laughs> that. And it's crazy. I'm like, wow, you guys are experiencing the same medical situation, mm-hmm. and yet your reactions are completely different. Their, bo- their bodies are different. There's different levels of hormones. Um, I literally was like sitting at my computer the other day and I was crying for no freaking reason. And then I was like, oh, it's, it's, th- this is coming. Okay. Well, my high school fine. girlfriend would get them, so, like, she, her menstrual cycles would get so bad. She would be laid out for like two or three days. Yeah. Where, I like, don't so have... some women have such extreme. Yep menstrual cycles ugh, mm-hmm. that it's, it's, <laughs> it is. it's gross to hear that but they're so extreme that like a peril like she couldn't move for like two or three days i'm yeah, like yeah. what do i do i what well, i don't know what to do with this i'm 17 again, this is i had no idea a once a month thing okay so we're now we're like even watering this down even more it's just the point is is that women happen to possibly be better equipped to just bounce back faster because of all the extra stuff we have inside us can help us combat the effects, the negative effects of space travel. Both of you guys are married. I know you're single. We'll go to you in a second. But both <laughs> of you guys are married. I'd like your opinions. And I'll give mine as well after you guys give yours. Uh, Shane, you're married. Who handles stress better in your relationship, you or your wife? Well, it's different types of stress. Like driving, 
I'm much better. Mm-hmm. She gets so scared so quickly and is just like, just pull over, just drive, just drive. Like, I can't handle <laughs> this. Too. She got into like one We car usually crash. get like that as well, but that's because I'm yelling at my wife. Go faster! Yeah. Why are you turning lanes? Just drive in this one. Yeah, I mean, so I usually cause that for her. I get angry, but it's not exactly being like, I can't handle this. I'm like wanting to run people off the road. Yeah. Um, as a Jersey guy, I'm sure you understand that too. So I... I think in terms of like danger or I don't know what you would categorize that as like um, like dealing with crazy shit happening, like going in the ocean in a really rough waves, for example. I love doing that. My wife's like screaming, crying all the way on the shore, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, whereas tiny little like drip, drip, drip stress, I fucking lose my mind, like going through and doing exactly. like tons of bills and exactly. stuff exactly or like mm-hmm. paying off student loans i'm like i can't fucking handle this like and then my wife's like what do you mean this is fun i love yeah. using excel i love doing all that so that like kind of like like stress that builds over time that's more like methodical she's excellent at and i think most women mm. are again not to generalize but um in terms of that like man versus bear shit that's yes. that's where we I 100% go. agree with you men can have their fight or flight response whatever i would rather trust my man and be like what do we do the 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 house is burning down like what do i do like kind of thing or f- fix something but for women it's that long term yeah. stress that we so have crazy. to handle cuz i like mine is a complete opposite of <laughs> with me and my wife i can handle the bills i handle all of the stress and she doesn't see any Thing. So like, mm. and I actually prefer it that way. I'm like, I don't need you to worry about that. I'm worried about you taking care of the home. She works as well, so it's a, and we're a dual income family. I can handle the finances, uh, but I also, if I walk outside in the summer and it gets hot and I get back sweat, I freak the fuck out. <laughs> so like, I will lose my mind over the dumbest shit, and she'll be like, "Why are you freaking? We'll just go in and change your shirt." Like she is so much more rational in those scenarios. But for me, I'm just like explosive. I just I like <laughs> I'm like when we're driving and somebody cuts me off, I go, "What the fuck?" is this guy's problem yeah, yeah. it could be like hey maybe like i accidentally swerved into my lane no, no i lose my mind over everything where she is so calm cool and uh and able to handle anything that comes her way whether it's relationship issues family issues money issues which again she doesn't really deal with so i kind of take on all of those and i get i get stressed about it but i don't ever show it but yeah. it's those things i just like physical stresses make me freak out humberto who handles it better, you or your wife? Stress. Uh, I'm. The thing is, we handle it differently. Like uh, I'm, I'm borderline a psychopath. Like I. Well, oh, borderline is an improvement. Well, from what I've heard I mean, here, <laughs> people have called you the, 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 what is it, the distribution dictator of yeah, valuetainment? Like the thing is, I'm so used to acting on things. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you know, they could cut my arm off, and I will know how to proceed. Like I'm, I'm always moving forward, and um. She stresses about me sometimes and uh, kind of brings her womanly skills for me to, like, have better relationships with people, slow the ball down, get in tune with my emotions. So she's teaching you how to be a human. She's, uh, she, what yeah, she's, 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 she's deprogramming she's literally teaching you me how from... to be a human. And then what you said is, is that the day-to-day stuff, like, uh, I, I don't know how we would handle being an adult because, mm-hmm. you know, we met, we were both young. So I don't know how I will handle being an adult. Like she's an integral part of being an adult. So I don't know where the line ends or where the line starts between when I'm freaking out. That is she, so romantic and that's to what hear. That's marriage that was very is supposed sweet. to be. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, so like that. we have it. I mean, we don't have it figured out, but um, we know our turf, and uh, like I can't distinguish when I'm freaking out and when she's freaking out, or uh, we, we we know when we're both freaking out, you know. But uh, but she has her space, I have my space that it, I, I take care of things, and uh, we just move as a unit. That's that's, that's the thing. So okay. you guys would be perfect for outer space. We will be <laughs> perfect for outer space. I'm very interested because you were very reserved, but you were asking questions, Brandon. I'd like your final input before we move on to uh, Shane covering the Hunter Biden. And can I have some of that wine, by the way? Sorry. Yes, let me okay, pour you a glass. Um, but uh, Brandon, <laughs> in your opinion, who does who handles stress better, men or women? In my opinion, 100% men do. <laughs> uh, not I, even not 100%. Not even 99% Brandon, and give women 1%. Never 100%. I think, no, but I think that um, they have strengths that are much better, too. Like, they're more compassionate and more, like, in tune with um, how people feel around them or how the things that they say make people feel, et cetera. But, um, I don't know, stress. Like, I've, I've never encountered a situation with um, the women I spend a lot of time with where 
they handle stress better than I do. And how maybe, many? Maybe that'll change. How old are you? Twenty nine. How many long term? What's your longest term relationship? <laughs> Um, three years. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you've had, okay. That's, that's, you can weigh in how many relationships long-term have you had? Like I'm. What's long-term? Okay. Uh, well, both of my, <laughs> I I was with my son's mother for five years. So I guess that's much, that's not as long. And then my current wife, we've been together for 10 years. So I would say wow. five years or above is probably long-term, right? Mm -hmm. It is long-term. Yeah. And, and now, Brandon, you brought it up. Oh, Jesus. Now I'm going to get incredibly sexist. Oh boy. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. I think uh, women in general with modern society after feminism and all this, because we all, like men and women got screwed over by the industrial revolution. Like we're putting eight hours of work and each one of them gets paid half. I think the biggest flex in, in, in still till this day is being, giving your wife space to do whatever she wants. Okay. So I, I think the women that you generally are with they're in manly spaces. They need to compete with you. They need to outshine you. They need to deal with a stress that they're not designed mm. for. Mm. Um, but once you see a woman pushing a baby out of her, and once you get sunburnt outside, and she knows what cream to get, and, <laughs> and when your dad dies, and she I helps you cope with, you. with death, like yeah. when, when, when women are in, in the womanly context, uh, they're the toughest people. Like they will, they they won't do it like excellent because we see the numbers. But they will raise ten kids and they will figure it out. So I think you you've seen women in a light that is not the stress they're designed for. Uh, you've seen them in a corporate work stress that is different. I'm talking dating too, though. But the dating is not the same thing. It's not like the same. Um, and and well, I'm the talking thing. both. Like so, like well, what are you saying? Are you countering what I'm saying? I'm countering for countering what you're saying because because. You never depended. You never depended. Aside from your mother, you you were never dependent on a woman, because I I think we are complementary. Like man can't exist without woman. Yeah, I agree. And you never trusted. I mean, I'm not saying you in particular. Yeah. Like if you if you, if your life and your future never uh, lay in the hands of woman, mm -hmm. like uh, women in civilization in general, they're the the middle force uh, that keeps things at bay. They conserve society. They conserve culture. Yeah. So. So women out of culture, uh, out of context of what they're supposed to be doing to like is to lead the next generation, to like raise the next generation. Obviously, they're going to seem like hysterical psychopaths if you put them in a different kind of stress. Mm -hmm. But for the day to day life stress, I don't know if you agree, um, you, the stress that they're designed for, they do much better than we do. Yeah, there's also tons of uh, memes on Instagram of... Um Women talk about their husbands being sick and how they oh, can't yeah. handle being sick. Oh, I'm the biggest baby. Yeah. See? <laughs> I, like, literally, and my wife says I'm a hypochondriac because, like, uh, the uh, Diana, the graphics girl, was sitting next mm -hmm. to me. She's like, oh, I have a cold. And I'm like, shit, now I'm oh, getting a cold. Yeah. And I went home, like, Caitlin, my throat just hurts. And she's like, uh, it doesn't, you, you sound fine. I went, uh, it hurts. I need, and then I need medicine. Then I need to, lay, <laughs> like, if I get the flu, I'm done for a week. I will lay in the bed and she will take care of everything. That's what, but you know what I also love about my wife is that competitive. Like, I see that in her at work. Mm -hmm. She works from home, but she's very competitive at work. Like, she does medical billing, and she wants to bill the most every month. And, I like, there's nothing. Like, there's girls in the upstairs sales office that work for Bet David Consulting, the other part of Valuetainment. And I watch those girls. I'm like, man, I like, some of those traits, I'm like, I love that competitive that competitiveness, it's such a turn on to see a woman go out there and make her own. But there's also this weird part that's a turn on where they can be homemakers and take care of you as well. Whereas I don't. Like, I know that both of those would be a turn on for my wife. I can only provide one. I can't be a homemaker and do all of those things and go out and work. My wife has found a way to be able to do both. They're better. Like, women are much more, I think they're better with time management. Like, I think they're better when it comes yeah, to. One. Better at balancing in general. Yes, of every aspect yeah. of life. And I see that with my wife, which is why, like, I, f I feel like you've found that with your wife as yeah. well. And Shane, it sounds like you have found yeah. that with yours. So it's exciting to watch you. I, I, Ladies. I remember that, I, the other day he was like, I've got, some, what did you call it? Some skirt? Did you say I have a skirt coming? No, that's an old man thing to say. What did you say? You had a weird term. Broad? Yes, you said broad. Yeah, broad's said, fun. I broad's got a fun. Date with a broad. And, I'm like, <laughs> and that's why he's bachelor. single. But, 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 oh, that's a funny <laughs> word. Even girls laugh at that word. But Brandon, no, I'm teasing you. Too, too, close, too close to argument. You can have the toughest Delta Force guys go kill 10 terrorists. And they will cope with the stress. They will do great under that stress. But then you, you can have the same 10 women uh, deal with an elder, elderly home. They're exposed to just as much death as the Delta Force guys. And I guarantee you that very little men 
could nurture the last days of a human, you know? And it's a very different kind of stress. Regardless you know? of whether you're man or woman, drink wine and eat chocolate. <laughs> well, well put, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs>